Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson we are going to study how to write two subtractions from one picture, from one addition picture. For example, here I have blueberries and raspberries and so I can add them together, right? I have five, five raspberries here and three blueberries so I can add, I get eight berries in total. But from this picture I can write two different subtraction sentences. The first one is, let's say that those blueberries would go away, so to speak, or somebody eats them. Then we can write a subtraction. There was eight in the beginning, and three of them got eaten, right? And then there's five left. But I can write another subtraction too. Can you see how? There are eight in the beginning, and let's say Matthew decides to eat the raspberries, those five there. So we write minus five, and then there will be three left. The blueberries are left. Like that. Let's try it here too. We have some triangles. First I will write an addition. Two triangles, the red ones, plus the five purple triangles makes a total of seven. And then the subtractions. In the beginning I have seven, and then some of them go away. Let's say that these two from the top go away, and then I would have five left. Right. Or the other subtraction, can you tell me what it is? Starts with seven, and then if those five purple ones go away, then we would have two left, right? Over here we have some cookies. What's that, Matthew? Oh, makes him hungry to see cookies. You didn't eat lunch then, did you? Okay, we have four nice cookies and one raspberry cookie or something. Makes a total of five. Now, can you tell me what the two subtractions will be from this picture? Start with 5, and if this one is subtracted or taken away, we have 5 minus 1 equals 4. But if we have those top ones to go away, we have 5 minus 4 equals 1. Now over here, this looks a little confusing maybe, but you have to imagine here like being 3 here and 0 here, like another group of zero items, zero stars. So my addition would be 3 plus 0 equals 3. And then the two subtractions. We start with 3 in the beginning, and let's say that those 3 go away. Then none left. Or if there's 3 in the beginning, and then these 0 go away, none go away, 3 will be left. Over here, it's my turn to draw the picture for this addition and then write the subtractions. 6 plus 1 equals something. I'll draw 6 something. Blueberries again, yeah. And then 1. Like that. 6 plus 1 equals 7. And then the two subtractions start with 7, both of them. And first I'll take away this. It leaves 6. And then I take away all those six blueberries and it leaves one raspberry. Over here again I need to draw. But I don't know what my addition will be. Here is one of the subtractions. Seven minus five. Now seven means there would be seven in total. Seven in the beginning. And five go away. So I could draw five, right? This would be the five going away. But there needs to be seven in total. So the other group has to be 2, right? 5 and 2 makes 7. So my addition is 5 plus 2 equals 7. Then 2 here, and then here 7 minus 2 equals 5. Now something different. True or false? Correct if false. These numbers that are in those blue boxes, you can imagine that they had been empty, just like here. And then some, ch some child or some student filled in a number into those boxes and maybe sometimes they made an error and we need to find if they made any errors. Is this true? 2 plus 1 equals 3? Yes, it's true. That's correct. Is this one true? 5 minus 4 equals 2? What do you think? No, that's not correct. That's false. Now we need to correct it. Let's erase. What number goes there? 3. Yes, 5 minus 3 equals 2. Over here, 10 minus 2 equals 7. Is that true? 
10 fingers, take away 2. No, that wouldn't be correct. No, that's not right. So let's make this empty again. And now what number would go there? Something minus 2 equals 7. 10 minus 2 was really close, right? Because 10 take away 2 would be 8. So you can try. Let's try 8. 8 minus 2. That would be 6. That's close, but not right. Let's try 9. 9 minus 2. Yep, that's 7. 5 plus 4 equals 9. Does it? Yes, it sure does. That's correct, too. All of these are correct now. Okay. And now we get to fill in the numbers into the empty boxes. 3 minus what number equals 1? If you have 3 marbles in the beginning, you take away some, and then you have one marble left. How many did you take away? 2 goes here. Right. And then you have so many, you take away 2, you're left with none. None is left. You have so many, you take away two, you have none left. The answer is, you have two in the beginning, and then you take the two away. Five equals something plus two. Some children get confused, and they think this means five plus two, and seven goes there. But that's not true, because seven plus two, this would make nine, and five is not equal to nine. You need to think of it as this side here, you know, this is the equal sign. Now, the right side of the equal sign needs to be 5 in total. This here together needs to make 5. So, 3 is the answer. Same here. 8 equals 6 plus something. 6 plus something on this side of the equal sign needs to equal 8. This is the same as 6 plus some number equals 8. The answer is 2. There are 9 flowers in the vase. Three of them are red. How many are not red? You could draw to solve this. Maybe you want to draw three red flowers. Okay. And there are nine flowers in the vase. So, how many more flowers would I need to draw to get a total of nine flowers? I can think of this kind of addition here. There's three red flowers plus so many not red flowers and a total of nine. The answer is six. Good job. Six, six flowers are not red. Now Matthew picked ten flowers for his mom. That's so very nice. I hope my kids would pick me flowers. Matthew picked ten flowers for his mom. Mom gave two of them back. How many did she keep? Okay, you could even play this out. Give your mom ten flowers. A mom gives two of them back. And then how many does mom have? Or you could draw, you could draw ten flowers, because mom has ten flowers. Or you could use your fingers for the ten flowers. Like, I have ten flowers here. I give two of them back, so how many will I have left? You can write a subtraction. Ten take away two equals eight. Mom has eight flowers left. Good job. We're all done with this lesson.